Hey, what's happening? Coach Ryan Family here from the Fat Loss Solution. Today, I am here to talk about cravings, what they are, what signals them, and what to do about them. Okay? We all get cravings when we're trying to get lean. I don't think there's any human being on this planet who went from a state of being relatively fat to being lean without any cravings. Okay, we can do things to minimize cravings, and if you diet smartly or intelligently, you can reduce the amount of cravings, but they will still be there. Okay? Cravings come for different reasons. You have psychological cravings and you have physiological cravings. An example of a psychological craving would be you're sitting there watching TV and a pizza commercial comes up. You see the hot, gooey pizza being pulled out of the oven and sliced and family enjoying it, and that triggers your brain, marketers are smart now, that triggers your brain to want pizza. So you may be perfectly fine, you may have just eaten a meal and plenty full, you see that pizza commercial and boom, you want to order a pizza, you're reaching for the Domino's hotline. Okay, that's a psychological craving, and it happens all the time, marketers use it uh, in TV commercials, magazine ads, etc to target the pleasure centers of your brain to buy their food, okay? And it works, it works, it flat out works, no question about it. Um, now other times you will get a genuine physiological craving. This is your body telling you that it wants you to eat something. So if you went for say 24 hours with no food, you just stopped eating food, you would get physiological cravings. You would get feelings of hunger pangs and an upset stomach, maybe a little bit of nausea, lightheadedness, and those are all signals that your body is telling you you need food. Um, now physiological cravings can come along for many reasons. One of the most, one of the biggest reasons that physiological cra cravings come on is because calories are too low. So oftentimes on a diet plan, the temptation is to simply cut calories, cut calories, cut calories, lower and lower and lower each week. Um, and when you cut calories too low, your body has cravings. It's natural. Your body's telling you that you need more food and you're purposely not giving it as much food as it requires in an effort to shed body fat. Okay, and some of this is necessary from time to time, but uh, that's one reason. Another reason you get physiological cravings is because you have cut out a certain macronutrient. So of the macronutrients, we have proteins, carbs, fats, and then there's alcohol, but we, we'll, we won't count that one. Uh, if you go on a low carb diet, in that first phase where your body's transitioning chemically to be able to process fat better, you will get carbohydrate cravings, even if you're eating high calories, okay? So you could be eating a surplus of calories over and above what you need for the day and you'll still get carbohydrate cravings because you've cut out that macronutrient, you've cut out carbs. Um, another reason you'll get physiological cravings is because your body may need a certain nutrient to execute a physiological process, okay? And one example of this is with young kids. Um, there will be certain stages in a child's development where they will crave and eat fat, okay? You may see your child reach on the, on the table for a stick of butter and just start eating the stick of butter straight up, okay? This is at a time when their body needs that fat, specifically saturated fat, for chemical processes such as brain development, okay? Saturated fat is crucial for brain development, so at times when uh, kids seem to want fatty foods or be reaching for fatty foods, that's a sign that their brain is developing at that time and it needs that fat, okay? So that's another reason. And then finally, another, another reason that you may get cravings is because your body may need to rebalance brain neurotransmitters. Brain neurotransmitters are basically your brain chemicals and that's how your brain communicates uh, with itself. So one example is with the neurotransmitter called serotonin. Serotonin is a chemical that makes you feel happy and or sleepy, okay? Carbohydrates, specifically sugary carbohydrates, stimulate the release of serotonin. So stimulate the happy sleepy. So in times where you may be depressed, for example, if you had a tragic event in your life or you're just feeling down in the dumps, had a bad day even, your body will know that something is off and that it needs to rebalance the neurotransmitters and that's when you reach for the cookies, right? So you have a bad day at work, you come home, you reach for the cookies, you reach for the chips, you reach for the Skittles, uh, nobody comes home and says, man, I had such a bad day at work. I just came home and I ate a whole bag of carrots. All right, a whole bunch of celery, like 15 stalks of celery. I just couldn't stop. 
Does that happen? Never. When people say, man, I just couldn't stop eating my grass-fed steak. No. What do you eat? Eat a whole box of Oreos. You eat a box of sugary cereal. Um, and that is your brain trying to balance out neurotransmitters, okay? Now, other times, physiological cravings can actually be confusing. So sometimes, uh, in the example of a low-carb diet, um, or a diet in general, sometimes you will get carbohydrate cravings, and that is a signal that your fat intake is too low. So one of the first things I do when people are getting carb cravings on a meal plan, specifically if they already have carbs in their, allotted in their plan, uh, is I will have them increase healthy fat intake, and oftentimes that reduces or eliminates the carbohydrate cravings. Um, now, most of the time, though okay so we've we've gone over some some areas where your body may require something in the case of a developing child the cravings signify that your body needs something but most of the time if your goal is fat loss you need to simply ignore cravings and do your best to put them out of your mind um, it's okay to be mildly hungry throughout a fat loss diet i mean you're trying to lose body fat after all so it's common and it's normal but what can you do to deal with these cravings and today i'm going to give you a few tips of how to get the cravings out of your mind or vanquish them or just get them out so that you don't have to deal with them, okay? First one, this is simple. You get a craving for something, pop in a stick of chewing gum. Preferably if it's uh, sweetened with xylitol or stevia. Those are two acceptable uh, sweeteners that are allowed to be in your gum um, that won't impact blood sugar. So chewing gum, uh, it stimulates the salivary response in your body and your body, it almost tricks your body to believe you're eating. So that can help cut back on the cravings. Next one is when you get a craving, get up and do 50 body weight squats and 30 push-ups. This is not a workout. This is not for a training effect. This is because exercise stimulates endorphins that oftentimes, you know, your will, you may, you may get cravings when you don't have enough endorphins in your system. So this will boost endorphins and cut back on your hunger, okay? Now this is gonna be silly. You're, you're not gonna do that in an office, in a suit, you know, at a business lunch or something. But if you're at home, that's a, that's a viable option. The next one, this is an important one, is to drink 12 ounces or more of water. Thirst is very often misinterpreted as hunger. And so, when you think you're jonesing for you know that moon pie you may just need to drink some water and oftentimes drinking that water will cut out the cravings and you won't feel hungry anymore another one is to brush your teeth sounds crazy but we have rituals in our day and so part of that tip is that after you brush your teeth you know when you're going to bed you don't eat after that and so part of it is ritualistic the other part of it is a lot of junk food will taste bad after you've brushed your teeth so brushing your teeth can help uh, kill your cravings the next two are good if you're on a low carb diet plan and you're not really tracking calories or, or fat grams or anything like that um, the first thing is to put 10 grams of glutamine powder into two ounces of organic heavy cream this is probably the best trick to stop carb cravings in its tracks. Glutamine is an amino acid that has transamination properties, so it can do the job of carbs without actually taking in carbs in some cases. So sometimes glutamine will help. Heavy cream is a good, good clean fat source if it's organic. Um, and as I said before, a lot of carb cravings are due to fats that are too low, so this helps boost it. And another one finally is um, take one tablespoon of coconut oil, put it in your mouth, and then swish it in and out of your teeth for 10 to 20 minutes. This does a couple things for you. One, it activates the salivary response. Two, it boosts healthy fat intake, which can cut down on carb cravings. And then three, pretty cool, it also helps get rid of uh, harmful bacteria in your mouth and is good for your teeth. So that's called coconut oil pulling, and it's a good craving killer that I use. Uh, I hope these tips help you. I hope you find some use for them uh, in your dieting efforts uh, to get lean. I'm Coach Ryan Family from the Fat Loss Solution. I'll see you next time.